Ashley Force. The engine rolls. Guido Antonelli says, ah, he's going to look at it just a little bit more because remember, that car really lit up. But they really thrashed on it. They got it ready. Top is down now. Guido says it's set to go. And they take on Jim Head. And now, let's go to Dave Reef a little bit earlier. Who spoke with one of the Maloof brothers, Joe Maloof. I want to be this guy. This is Joe Maloof along with his brother Gavin on the Sacramento Kings of the National Basketball Association. If you've ever heard of the Palms, well, they own that too. And, well, gee, it's all happening right here in your hometown this weekend. What is it like to be you right now? Beautiful. Great weekend. I've got the Kings in town. My brother had his housewarming party, a brand new house. We've got the great race this weekend. We're having a great time. I can tell you the clubs uh, were hopping, the casino as well. What's it like seeing the Palms name on the side of a race car going 320 miles an hour and leading the Funny Car Championship point? It's tremendous because we're in first place. We're leading the, we're leading the uh, standings. We're doing well. And I'm so proud of Tony and Cruz for everything they've done for the sport. We've been involved now for three years, and it's been a fantastic relationship with the Palms, the Kings, and NHR racing. The starting line experience, you've been there before, but it's been a little while. It's still pretty darn intimidating, though, isn't it? Four jet engines coming at you. That's all I can say. Terrific. Hey, thanks for the time, Joe. Always appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, they own the Palms. Do they own the Montecito, too, Mike? Do you know? I mean, it's changed hands so many times. Well, last time I was hanging out with them, you know, they yeah. uh, they told me, yeah, right, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I hang with them a lot. Not my league, trust me. <laughs> John Ford watching Ashley. Jim Head, left side of your screen. Tell you that was a good old drag race too, with the heat out there, sitting on the racetrack. Both cars had that two hundredths of a second advantage off the starting line. Ashley Force ran a little bit quicker. She needed it. Four eighty-five at three hundred and sixteen miles per hour just gets by. She heads four eighty-eight a lap time at three hundred and seventeen miles per hour. There's margin of victory at the stripe, just about a nose. And Dave Brief has John Force. Happy dad? Oh, happy dad indeed, John. What's better, having Castro GTX in the final or that kid known as your daughter? Well, you know, it's uh, quite an accomplishment uh, when you take a kid like Dean Antonelli and turn him over to the ranks of an Austin Coil and say, make this happen and to come here to Vegas and put her in the final and to take a girl that's a trainee with a lot of heart. She, uh, she looks like her mama, but... She kind of drives like me. I just think a whole bunch better she drives. Calm and cool, but I'm really excited for her and them. And, yeah, we're getting beat up, you know, in this countdown with Robert, but we still got a chance. And if she can take Tony out, this could really help Robert in this chase, and that's what we're going to try to do. How about Gary Gerald up at the far end? With Ashley Force and Tony Pedregon hanging on as well, they'll be the arch rivals now in the final. You're going to your first final since you've turned pro. What's that feeling like right at this moment? We definitely didn't take the easy way to get to this final. It's been a long, long day, but I'm so excited. I'm so proud of my guys behind me. They worked so hard, you wouldn't even believe what was going on in our pit. We had eight million of the best John Force racing crew guys you could get. And Tony it was an old teammate of ours, so I'm excited to go up against him. Um, but I'm just so excited, and last round is a little crazy. I got evacuated from my house in the Southern California fires last week, and then I got evacuated from my funny car today, so I'm glad to be back home and both. <laughs> Enough for the fire business. Meanwhile, Tony Pedregon, 71 points, a chance to go 91, and to virtually, virtually clinch a championship this weekend. It won't be official, but how significant? Did you think you would be in this position at this point of the day? Well, we were certainly hoping that we could get to the final somehow. We, of course, we didn't, we didn't take into account that those three guys, awful good teams, we didn't know that they could get beat in the first round, but, you know, conditions changed, maybe the track prep, whatever it was, but Maloof came out Friday, he said something about Maloof magic, and I think we got it, but Herzog and Snap-on tools and Q horsepower, um, I, I mentally got to keep myself in the game because I don't want to think any other way, and uh, hey, if we can win this final, we, we wanted to go into that last race with a cushion, it looks like we're going to have that. Hey, a lot on the line when funny cars roll up for their final. 
Oh, and check out that crowd. A big standing O for Ashley's gang as they come down the road.